race recap from race number two of the weekend in the Superbikes. The 1000cc, Happy Sharon knocked off the championship lead yesterday. Farmer Murray based in uh, Malaysia as well. It was a great start for Yuki Kuni in the middle of that group. Number 92, as with yesterday, got off to a terrific start, but something happened in the middle race to really scupper his chances. Also making good starts, Sachiro Minamoto and Kazma Daniel coming good as well. He would go on to get his best results of the season, but the real story, Barry Russell, was the man at the front at this stage, Sachiro Minamoto. Yeah, he did He did so well. He, by his time, he made a clean move for the front, and he just stayed there. He soaked up the pressure from Hafiz Shirin. And another thing that impressed me here, as uh, unfortunately the hard-charging Nakarina Tirapuva pack went down, but the other impressive thing was that Glockton Epis showed that yesterday's podium was no fluke. He was right on the pace today once again. Then we came down to the real race, the, the final race. You've heard him mention it, Happy Sharim. He was closing down. He said he'd looked after his back tyre. Uh, Sakura Minamoto said was in his sights. We never felt it in commentary, did we? You know, we thought he had a terrific time. But as they came into the final lap, Minamoto was leading. The lead at that stage was point five, uh, nearly half a second. And then it came to the, the back markers. This is what caused the Happy Sharin problem. And Saputra gets in the way. That prevents any attempt for Happy Sharin to make a, a move on the last lap. But Minamoto, from this observer's point of view, was probably in a good position to go on and take the win anyway. And thoroughly deserves all the celebrations that come his way by Russell. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I don't think that Happy did have that final pace to send it. In the final turn, I think Minamoto had shown such maturity, such strength of character to lead from the front that he would have made it anyway. Minamoto, very, very different emotions from one and two. Andy Farid Istahar did a very solid job making sure that he kept the championship lead and he comes on, he's an experienced campaigner. Well, he had a bad day and he finished third. So that tells you what you need to know about his quality. He offers the handshake to his uh, Indonesian counterpart, but it's going to be a Japanese on top of the podium for the first time today and for the first time in Superbikes for Sochiro Minamoto. He uh, saw off the challenge of Yuki Kone, resisted the challenge of Happy Sharin and takes his first place and a terrific result for him yeah. and for his team. Great right to see Yamaha back too. Yamaha Technique Racing Asia with the Ladies team award. And we're going to have the Japanese national anthem. the Japanese national anthem. Nice, Stefan Maki Karapie, FIM Asia president. On helmet and prize giving duties today. Andy Farid is the heart. Good weekend for Andy. 41 point weekend for him. Takes him to the top of the championship standings with four races to go. Happy Sharim. Even with his frustration, it's a 29 point weekend. And although he's lost the championship lead, he's still within touching distance. So Chiro Minamoto, wow, maybe this kid has arrived at uh, Superbike level. Mandalik is good for him, he had a win here last year. The team award be handed out by Mr. Bang Bang uh, Wikitono, the Chief Administrator of the Mandalika Special Economic Zone, the SAZ, and it goes to uh, Yamaha Technique Racing Asia. Uh, thanks to Mandalika. It's great to have an international circuit of this quality available for us to use in Indonesia, which uh, really has a heartbeat for motorsport. Confirmation, Andy Farid is there, Andy Gilang from Indonesia in three. Happy Sharin Abdullah, JDT Racing in P2. For your winner, Sajiro Minamoto for the very first time for the Yamaha. What it means in the overall standings, Andy Farid. 
leads. 116.6 clear of Hafiz Sharif. 24 clear of Yuki Kuni and Chip Nakarin, who aren't out of the reckoning. Neither is Minamoto, who comes into the reckoning. Neither is Aslan Shah. Particularly if TKKR BMW can get it right at Sepang, it could be a fascinating next two rounds when we return to us in September. Zach Ronzani recovered. That's an excellent fourth place for him, but on Honda Asia Dream Racing with a stay on 68 points. And Lachlan Epis. Wow, what a weekend for Lachlan. Congratulations to the Aussie Evolution Sports Group on 67 points. Wonderful Indonesia. It has been. It has been a little bit special. We had a most somber event here last year. We've been able to celebrate the racing today. And we move on next to Sepang. We've been to Buriram and Zhuhai and Motegi. We've been here in Mandalika and Lombok for the second time. We've enjoyed it thoroughly. Sepang next in September. Chang International Circuit for the deciding two races in early December. Barry Russell, quickly your thoughts, your highlights of today. Well, we started with a fantastic race in TBS. It was a payoff for Ramdan Rosli's persistence. Brilliant for him.